And welcome to UGOL Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Monday the 20th of March 2023. We hope you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of UGOL Markets here to lead you on what's happening in markets today. So we saw a weak session to end the week on Friday in the US, but we saw indices closing higher for the whole week. And really, considering what the trials and tribulations of all of the bank dramas created, uh, then that was actually quite a positive result. We see the Nasdaq outperforming not only throughout the week, but on Friday also with big tech doing particularly well, noticeably Microsoft and some of the semiconductor stocks. US futures are positive in early trading after the news came out that UBS had bought up Credit Suisse, which sort of removes that as a potential concerning issue to that particular sector. Asian indices, however, are not doing particularly well. Uh, mostly to the downside. The Kospi, I think, is the only one in positive territory. The Nikkei is closed. The ASX is very, very choppy, but down uh, in excess of around 0.5%. Uh, we've obviously seen significant caution, not just because of the shocks created from last week, but perhaps the eyes are on some of the events happening later in the week, not noticeably the Fed. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open. The VIX did drop, but still very volatile. Every time you look at a VIX chart, it seems to have moved in the opposite direction. Just reinforcing the fact that the market is not in a comfortable place for right now. Needs a little more dust to settle, perhaps. It is over the 200 MA. US dollar index slightly weaker on Friday. was interesting because usually there's an inverse relationship between where the USD moves and where the equity markets move. However, it did look weak. It is near support. It is slightly higher in Asia. We've seen a little bit of a bounce. And gold surged higher again throughout last week. Trade just below 2,000 its highs. Uh, slightly pulling back in Asia, but again, really quite choppy with uh, Japan shut. We're getting slightly less volume across the board in all asset classes. Copper edged higher again after breaching $4 last week. And oil is trading near 18-month lows again. Another bad day on Friday. And the... Brent crude CFD contract is actually approaching $70, which is quite remarkable, really, considering where we've been. Bitcoin gapped up again after the weekend and is testing a somewhat remarkable 28,000 on the back of no positive news, really. There just seems to be some buying pressure in there. It is at 10-month highs now and looks as though it could continue to go higher for right now. Uh, the PBO interest rate is out and not surprisingly, there's no change there. Uh, later on this afternoon, we've got German PPI, the, the ECB president, Christine Lagarde, is speaking. And of course, markets are going to remain sensitive to any banking news as well as having eyes on that Fed interest rate decision, which will be released on Wednesday after their two-day meeting. A couple of charts that caught our eye. And the US yen is interesting on an hourly chart. It looks as though it's trading within a range. You can see we had that initial move higher. Now we've had a pullback with some yen strength coming in, appears to be in a trading range of around about 90 pips there on the hourly chart, which is quite a lot for this particular currency. Looks as though it's heading down through 132. If it breaches that, we'll get that 35 pip drop uh, to retest this low from Friday. But we're sort of at crossroads. So this is the sort of market it looks like in the FX world today in that we're seeing a lot of potential pairs that could move in a fairly tight range. Uh, this is the, probably the cleanest of the bunch at this stage and worthwhile keeping an eye on as the day progresses. Uh, on the ASX, we've talked zero uh, fairly frequently of late since it broke through this 87.36 level. You can see more buying pressure coming into it today. It still looks good for a move up to late 92s, possibly 93. Dollars. That's going to be hard to beat today in a market which doesn't look particularly happy. We are seeing some buying into iron ore stocks, but they're really just coming off lows or just bouncing off lows without any significant move higher and a little bit of strength in gold stocks, not surprisingly, which continue to do well on the back of moves in the underlying metal. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.